Hello, welcome back again. In this episode, Self Help TV features 15 habits that destroy success. People like to think of success as a single, massive goal that they must achieve. But the truth is that if you can't complete the simple things in front of you, that peak doesn't exist. A single home run does not guarantee success. Rather, it's coming up for batting practice on a consistent basis year after year. The secret to success is considered to be the confluence of preparation and opportunity. You'll need to create some ground rules to get there. Finally, if you want to be successful, you should be more concerned with how you use your time right now than with the big prize at the end of the game. Begin by creating a timetable and cultivating the successful habits that will lead to your success. Here are 15 bad habits that destroy success. Let's check it out. Before we start, don't forget to subscribe this channel and click the notification bell. Bad habit number one. Having a pessimistic mindset. This is the place where everything begins. Negative thoughts and habits are simply going to set you back. Introducing a contradictory or negative thinking to take root in your head is the equivalent of allowing poison into your brain. It isn't a good plan. Once you've begun down the path of negativity, it's difficult to get back on track. There is a lot of doubt, dissatisfaction, and melancholy. The best thing you can do for yourself is become aware of your triggers. What makes you pessimistic in the first place? Once you recognize the triggers, you may interrupt the negative mental chatter before it has a chance to drag you down. Shift your emphasis to the positive when you sense yourself sliding into negative thoughts. Bad habit number two, wasting your time. Email, text messages, television and social media are examples of media which people waste their time. All of these things are amazing, but they're also all quite distracting. Technology is an incredible tool. It allows you to connect to the internet and have access to useful information. Simultaneously, it's all too easy to be seduced by distractions and stupidity. With our devices, we like zoning out in front of the television or game console. What does this mean for you, though? When your mother said that watching TV rots your brain, she was absolutely true. How many successful people do you know who spend their days on the couch, vegging out? Stop wasting your time changing the channels. Stop wasting time by endlessly looking through social media. Bad habit number three. Always making other people happy. Trying to be everything to everyone is a waste of time. The truth is that you should never try to please others if it puts your own safety in jeopardy. Not everyone is going to love and admire you. In fact, for folks who truly get you, this should drive you to put in more effort. It's past time for you to make a stand. Instead than apologizing to everyone, concentrate on your friends who accept you. In business, it's the same. Concentrate on gaining control of your niche market. Concentrate on the people that are drawn to you and want to learn more about your products or services. If you stay true to yourself, you'll be more helpful to others. Bad habit number four, working on multiple tasks at the same time. According to recent studies, multitasking is exactly a thing. You can flip between two jobs, but you can't complete both at the same time. There is an exception only if the activity is extremely passive, such as driving while listening to a podcast. For productivity, you must be able to focus. To act on or react to information, you must be present and fix your attention on it. If you try to multitask, your concentration will be shattered, and your efficiency will plummet like a stray ball. Multitasking only serves to throw you off. You'll get more done in less time if you work on one thing at a time. Bad habit number five, fear of failure. This is regarded as more of a personality trait than a habit. Allowing your fear of failure to get established, like everything else, can make it difficult to break. When you put off doing something because you're afraid of failing, you're developing that negative habit. 
Instead, be in the habit of taking on new challenges without letting fear or anxiety hold you back. Failure is, after all, an unavoidable part of life. The only true failure is allowing fear to halt or hinder you from moving forward. If you fall down, get back up and try again. That is the only way to release yourself and learn to fly. Bad habit number six. Failure to keep promises made to yourself and others. A promise is a declaration that you will do or not do something. It's your word, and keeping it is crucial to earning respect and upholding your integrity. It's simple to develop a pattern of maintaining or breaking promises. It says a lot about the kind of person you are if you have a habit of breaking your promises. Start by taking care of yourself. Any promises you make to yourself should be kept. If you don't respect your own boundaries and internal contract, why should anyone else? Only breaking a promise to yourself is worse than breaking a promise to someone else. Make certain that you follow through on your promises. If you say you'll do something, be sure you do it. Any inconsistency in your remarks will eventually catch up with you. Bad habit number 7. Hanging around with pessimists. Take a look at the people you associate with. Are your friends committed to attaining their goals? Do they have their own hobbies and interests? Are you encouraging each other to reach your best potential, or are there difficulties and insecurities weighing you down? Who you associate with has a significant impact on who you develop into and, as a result, what you do with your time. Don't fall into the trap of keeping loyal to flakes or those who can't seem to find anything enjoyable. Every now and then, everyone has a terrible day, and we all rely on our friends for assistance. However, steer clear from folks who are always down on themselves. They will just drag you down with their pessimistic outlook. Bad habit number 8. Holding others liable for your errors. Blame accelerates failure more than anything else, particularly in a group context. The habit of blaming others is a horrible one that is all too easily picked up by others. When one team leader does so, other team leaders believe it is appropriate to do the same. The sickness of blame is contagious. It's simply transferring your guilt or incompetence to someone else. This practice can kill a team or an organization from the inside because it allows the initial problem to fester. If you don't accept responsibility for your mistakes, you'll never learn the important lessons that will help you avoid repeating them and develop. You can stop the spread of blame by taking responsibility for your mistakes. Admitting your mistake might be challenging. You will win respect and gratitude from others if you adopt the mindset that the buck stops here. Bad habit number 9. Saying yes to too many things. Some entrepreneurs struggle to say no to opportunities, resulting in chaos in their lives. Saying yes to things you don't really want to do or don't have time for does no one any good. If you let chores rule your life and stretch yourself too thin on a regular basis, you'll end up irritated, tired, and continually underperforming. Accepting too much responsibility wastes your time and that of the other party, who will be relying on you to keep your promise. Simply put, you must learn to say no. Bad habit number 10. Excessive spending and insufficient savings. Whether we're talking about personal or business finances, fiscal responsibility is a cornerstone that everyone should master. It's a bad habit to start spending money you don't have, and it's even worse to make decisions based on money that isn't yet in the bank. Being unable to budget can have you scrambling in the long run. What happens if you lose your job or a loved one becomes unwell and unable to work? It's important to remember that rainy days are on the way. Financial well-being enables you to seize opportunities while also providing you with a sense of financial security. Why waste time and energy trying to figure out how to pay your bills? If you overspend and undersave, you're setting yourself up for a life of anxiety. Your desire and need to make more money will drive you rather than your desire to achieve your life's goals and desires. Bad habit number 11. Forgetting the long-term vision. Short-sighted decisions may yield short-term gains, but they won't get you any closer to your long-term goals. 
If all you think about is tomorrow, you'll work yourself to death simply to survive another day, every day. And that is a surefire way to burn out. At all times, you should be working for your long-term objectives. Because it lets you to glimpse into the future and imagine where you want to go and how you want to get there, it is your most potent weapon for success. It assists you in making informed decisions about which current sacrifices will pay off in the future. If you don't have a long-term strategy, you'll be stuck in a rut for the rest of your life. Bad Habit Number 12. Acting on the spur of the moment rather than planning ahead. What life throws at you has no bearing on how you spend your days. There will always be another meeting, a fire to put out, or a duty to complete. These daily obligations should not overburden you to the point of my opinion. Instead, consider all of your options and choose the best course of action for you. You're in a sinking boat with no time to row because you're too busy bailing yourself out if all you do is respond. If your objectives aren't met, don't blame it on circumstances or situations. Things will come up from time to time, and you'll have to deal with them. You must make deliberate decisions about what you are doing rather than drifting from one thing to the next. Make a list of your daily goals and use them to motivate you. Take care of the rest as best you can, but remember to be focused on your goal and deliberate in your actions. Bad habit number 13. You can't seem to clear your head. The regular stress and demands of life can rapidly bring you down if you're not careful. If you don't take care of your mental health, it will catch up with you. We all need a stress relieving system. Nobody can work 365 days a year, 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. We aren't robots. Even robots, after all, require routine maintenance. Every now and again, you need to unwind for an hour or an evening. Make an attempt to relax and unwind. Take a stroll. You will notice a substantial boost in your focus and productivity if you meditate for 15 or 30 minutes each day. Taking a step back can often help you obtain a better understanding of whatever problem or challenge you're facing. Bad habit number 14. Poorly managing your social life. Humans are by nature social animals, it's inscribed in our DNA. A lack of social life is bad because it leaves you without an outlet or a way to connect with others. It's also not a good idea to have too much of a social life because it will cause you to get distracted, unfocused, and unable to view your objectives clearly. You must find a comfortable equilibrium for yourself. Your goal should be to find people with whom you enjoy socializing. When we are upset, we all need others to listen to us and console us. We require the support of our friends, which will always be there for us. But be careful who you bring into your life and how much time and energy you devote to them. It's crucial to realize that there's a difference between forming lasting friendships and becoming socially mad. Bad habit number 15. Allowing past failures to get in the way of future triumphs. Finally, don't let what has occurred in the past determine what will occur in the future. Certainly, you should think about and learn from your mistakes. Don't let your fear of failure, on the other hand, hold you back or dictate your path of action. Above all, don't be scared to try new things simply because you've failed in the past. If you are constantly walking in the dark of your self-doubt, you will never step into the sunlight. Allow yourself to let go of the past and take command of the future. Believing in oneself is the first step toward success. Do you have any problems with these bad habits? Which bad habit seems to be a part of you? Are ready to break the bad habit? Write your comment below. Click the like button and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching and see you in the next episode.